Well, hello gamers, I'm Martuari, and welcome back to another episode of Conan Exiles on the Conan Devolved modded PvP server. And yes, since uh, the last episode, a few things have changed. So uh, let me show you around in the base here. Uh, I'm not quite sure if you will be staying here, but I did, uh, I did do some improvements. I've uh, set up a few more crafting stations. And meanwhile, I reached level, what is it, level 22? 24 already so yeah i have access access to tier 2 materials and i started building some tier 2 stuff but i also started experimenting with some of the mods here first of all let's have a look at this fog catcher i think that all these things are part of the homeroom mod so the fog catchers it actually allows you to uh, catch fog and turn it into water so how how does it work well you put in stone stone is made into these wet stones and these wet stones are made into these water drops and you can actually use the water drops let me show you so no i took 600 water drops i'm now at 31 thirst i will use one it should have raised my th thirst yet yeah, to 40 another one 50 60 70 80 90 100 so it's a nice alternative to getting water i don't have to run to the to the water uh, bassin anymore i can just stay here and use the water it's quite handy next up i found this mortar and this mortar somehow transforms coal into coal powder crystal into crystal powder these green leaves into this green leaf tower uh, powder uh, the yellow lotus flower into yellow lotus powder and as you can see if you combine six of those grains one two three four five oh i only have five or maybe it turns any grain into flower flower yeah i have no idea what the flower is for yet but i do know what this coal powder is, is for so let me show you that the coal powder can be used in combination with the bee wax so bee wax which is made of course in the beehive you get sometimes when you collect uh, flowers you get bees you put them in here and the thing starts producing bee wax and honey i think honey is something you can eat yes yeah, mid-grade consumable nice haven't tried it yet but yeah you get that uh, bee wax thing and the bee wax can then be used to make some of these candles like this one uh normal white candle there is the black one and the black one is made with a combination of bee wax twine and coal powder and I have been using that to place some candles around my base already. Uh, I'm not quite sure how it will look at night since I haven't really tried it out yet. But I have been placing some candles around. Let me show you. I placed some candles up here for now. Uh, just so I have a little indication of where I'm heading. There is a candle here. There is a candle here. Uh, I tried putting up some candles on this thing here but I was unable to. So I did also put up four, can four, four, yeah, four candles on this thing. And I did place two candles here on the stairs. I was kind of hoping to be able to light up the whole thing to the bottom, but it's, it's, it's impossible. I haven't been able to do it. So yeah, that's a few things from, uh, from the mods we are using. And I'm really looking forward to learning more about the other stuff. But I think that will be something we will be doing later on. Uh, I will have to discover as we go because I had no idea this was in, no idea this was in, and no idea this was in. I was just wondering, yeah, what are these things? Let's try it. From what I've heard, you will probably be able to uh, brew beer as well. Let me actually try this honey. What does it do? Honey. Honey. Uh, I should probably wait until I'm thirsty again because I think it will be regenerating food and thirst. Oh yeah, nice. It does replenish food quite a bit. The goal is now to also rebuild this part because I've started upgrading to tier 2 materials. So I will be upgrading this part of uh, the outside defense wall. Uh, I already put up the foundations. They are tier 2 already. So I still have to remove the rest and make that out of tier 3 materials but I'm kind of hoping to level up quite a bit uh, still okay little update I have been building a few things and setting up some things collecting some materials processing them into uh, building blocks and it's time to start to rebuild our little wall we had up there I will not be putting in a big gate yet just not yet 
Because I think if I upgrade this to tier 3, I will have to rebuild everything anyway. I tried it earlier by uh, upgrading. Sometimes it does work, sometimes it doesn't. And I don't really like that. So this should be... What, I'm thirsty again? Yeah, and hungry as well. So that's a door. And this should be a window frame. No, not this one. This one, yes. Window frame. I can destroy this. Doesn't really matter. Six is a window frame. Window frame, window frame. And this will be a window frame as well. And another one up here. And that's gonna be it. So the rest can be walls for now. Well, people, look. I learned something new and that's all because I was streaming and Stavos in the stream told me I had issues. I wanted to place these things. Ah, now it doesn't show me uh, how, how to align. A stupid thing. Let me reset it. Can I reset that? Oh yes, there you go. So I was trying to place the torches up here. It said not aligned enough with the ground and whatever I did, raise lower, it didn't work at all. And Stavos in the, in the in the stream in the chat said, just press your middle mouse button and it will align the object perfectly with the ground. Look, isn't that amazing? I can now place these things up here. How awesome is that? I did not know about that. I did not know about that. So I'm going to be picking this one up and this one up and put him up, put him up on the stairs actually. It, it's a, it looks a lot better on the stairs. But look, at least now I will see my stairs during the night. I didn't know that. Uh, thanks for the tip, Stavos. Really, I didn't know. Okay, while we are here, let me show you something else I've, I have learned today. So I was experimenting with some of the mods we have. We have this uh, beehive here. I already mentioned it produced... Uh, bee wax in order to, which you can use to make uh, uh, candles and stuff but it also produces honey and look the honey can be used to okay to fill your health uh, not your health your hunger and your thirst so instead of bringing a water bag with you and some meat why not bring some honey yeah i think i'm ready and i think it's time to head to the troll city and try to bring at least one thrall back home. Oh crap, the dragon. The dragon. I need to get to safety. So. I know this place. I know this place pretty well. Because it's actually the place where I go to get trolls when I'm playing. Oh shit, they hit hard. When I'm playing solo, well, solo, on our Patreon server, like they don't have to attack the dragon, really? They are friends with the dragon or what? Well, that would be stupid. I'm pretty sure if I get close, I will get killed. I'm gonna check down here. There are normally two more guys up there oh yeah a blacksmith yeah. And, and it doesn't look like there is anything in the corner and blacksmith tier one a what are you smelter tier two and an armor yes so bring this one home nothing is happening anyway so why not oh yeah it's already down five e oh and now it's it's a matter of running and keep running Ah, uh, yeah, this is a dangerous area up there. Snakes, plenty of uh, people up there. Normally on our server, I jump down here and I head to my little stronghold. I'm not quite sure if I will be able to make it to my base fast enough and, of course, safe enough. Because that's also a problem. I can run, run, run. But if I'm out of stamina all the time... I won't be getting anywhere. 
Oh, not, 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 not. Oh, leave me alone. Oh, if everything would just despawn for 10 minutes now, to give me the opportunity to... Oh, not a stupid bug. Uh, run out of stamina. Yeah, heck yeah. That's a perfect time to get out of stamina. I need to break. I need to break. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to. I don't want to. I really don't want to. This is a nice spot to gain some stamina back. I just don't know how much time I have. This is the entrance of my base. It is. Yeah, the back entrance. Darn, why did that take the wrong turn? Anyway, I think I'm gonna make it. Ah, oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Run, baby, run. Run, forest, run. Come on, put that first troll in. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I know, I'm making strange sounds, but I'm almost there. Look, if it despawns now, I'm pulling all my hair out. Yes. I think that's a... That's a high tier one. Yes. Ali, come here. Yes, please. So what are you... Yes, tier 3 smelter. Anything else? Blacksmith. Armor. No. I'm gonna try bringing this one home. I knew you would come. Run, run, I have him. I think I don't even have to run anymore. <laughs> yeah, I got the emotes. Yeah, nice. What's happening? What the heck is happening? Come on. In the wheel of pain, please. Get in. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Who's shooting me? Oh, you are? Ah, crap, I'm dead. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. What's this one? Yep, yeah, this one I'm taking home. Blacksmith tier 2. Always nice. I think indeed this side... <coughs> excuse me. This side might, might actually be a little bit safer to get through. Now that... Uh, I know that Barbie has built there and things aren't respawning. It's probably a little bit safer. It is much shorter indeed. And it's also a little bit safer from what I have seen by now. I Less... less uh, Less of those stupid, uh, how are they called? Um, locuses. The question is, will I have enough gruel? Last trip, the last trip. So, suggestions. What should I bring home? A high-grade archer? Or check for some more, uh, some more uh, artisans? Up to you. I think I'm uh, okay with the two smelters I have and the blacksmith. Of course, if I could find another blacksmith, I wouldn't hesitate bringing it home. But I don't need to. Tier 2 dancer might be good as well. Uh, both are tier 1. Oh, one is tier 2. Yes. Come on, get knocked down, please. Down! <gasps> I have it. I have it. I'm gonna bring it home. I don't care. It's not an archer. But I don't care. Of 
course I have to run through the city. And no, a, a big archer spawned there. <sighs> Nothing here yet? Great. I can always come back and get an archer tomorrow. Doesn't matter. I have my Wheel of Pain up, so... If I get that archer now or, I, or tomorrow, it doesn't really matter to me. A dancer might be nice too, because it gives you a nice... Uh, not only does it reduce your, your uh, corruption, but they give you a nice regen buff as well. That spot where I was, when, where, where I got the, the dancer, is the spot where I have been getting those dancers with the white dresses. If you watch my uh, the series I'm, I'm making on, on my... Uh, well, on our Patreon server, uh, you will see that I have a few male and female dancers, tier 3, with a white dress. Well, that's where, the, where I got them. And sometimes uh, the white dressed one spawns as a named one, Luba the Lucius. I've had her twice. The first time uh, I put her up, she, she got her will broken. I set her up in a spot. But I wasn't quite happy with the result, so I moved her to another spot. Or at least I tried to move her to another spot. But the moment I picked her up, she turned into an, an inv invalid entry. <laughs> Made my head explode. So I went back a few times and a few times, and I found her a second time. But I got so disoriented by stuff attacking me and, and whatnot and, and night that I made a big detour, and by the time I got to the base, to the Wheel of Pain, uh, yeah, she, des she despawned. We only have a five minute timer on our server to bring stuff back. So, uh, yeah, I was too late. I was too darn late. Well, at least I learned two things today. First one was to uh, align stuff with the ground. Thanks to Stavos. And the second one was the easier access to the troll city. This will burn for two hours. Okay. I will be putting this away. Well, folks, I think it's time to wrap up today's episode. We did get some things done and we have captured our first thralls. So, yeah, I think that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have comments or suggestions, you can post those in the comment section below the video. Check out the description as well. That's where you will find links to all the folks here on the server and links to my social media pages and a link to my Patreon page as well. Feel free to subscribe to the channel as well. That way, not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. That being said, I'm going to be wrapping up today's episode. So until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye.